Hello everyone and welcome to the daily morning podcast of SBI Securities. So let's see how the markets closed yesterday. So Sensex declined 352 points or 0.48 percent to settle at 72,790. Nifty declined 90 points or 0.41 percent to settle at 22,122. Uh, the uh, the top five gainers uh, on Nifty were L and T, Power Grid, Adani Enterprises, Tata Consumer, and BPCL. And the top five losers in Nifty were Asian Paints, Apollo Hospitals, Hindalco, Tata Steel. Now, friends, coming on to sector wise, uh, where auto uh, closed marginally in green uh, by 0.1 percent, whereas sectors such as uh, metals, IT, consumer durables, and PSU banks were down by 0.94 percent, 1.17 percent. 0.89 percent and 0.5 percent respectively. Uh, moving on to the broader market indices, Nifty mid cap and small cap both closed marginally negative by 0.36 percent and by 0.26 percent. Uh, coming on to the market breadth, where uh, 1665 stocks advanced, whereas 2312 stocks declined. Moving on to 52 week high, so there were 171 stocks uh, who scaled uh, 52 week highs. So some of them were 361 VAM, Adani Enterprises, Adani Green, Ambuja Cement, Astral, etc. Uh, and on 52 week low, 10 stocks were trading at 52 week low. So some of them were Euro India, Entro, Hinduja Global. Now friends, moving on to the global queues. So Dow Jones uh, ended uh, marginally negative by 0.02 percent. Nasdaq also ended marginally negative by uh, 0.13 percent, and uh, S&P also ended negative by 0.4 percent. Uh, so there was a, a rejig in Dow on Monday, where Amazon joined Dow, replacing Walgreens Boot Alliance. And uh, in the on the economic data front, new house sales in January came in below the economics uh, estimates, and the sales of new single-family homes were at six lakh sixty-one thousand versus an estimate of six lakh eighty thousand. And the reason for uh, for that was uh, the mortgage interest rates remained elevated. And the economic data, which is due in this week uh, in US, are on Tuesday. It is the uh, durable orders data, which is today. On Wednesday is the January wholesale inventories, and on Thursday is the consumer spending and PC numbers. Now, friends, coming on to the uh, fund flow side, uh, where FIs and DIs both sold to the tune of rupees two eighty five and five crores, respectively. Now, moving on to the stock in news. Uh, which are likely to be in focus today are 197 Communication, which is PTM, where the PTM founder and the chief executive officer Vijay Shekhar Sharma has resigned from the board of PTM Payments Bank, and the board has been reconstituted. So neutral uh, for PTM in short term. CMS Info System, promoter Cyan Investment Holdings, an affiliate of Bering Private Equity Asia, will offer to sell 4.17 crore shares or a 26.67 percent stake in the company at a floor price of rupees 360 per share, representing a discount of 9.3 percent of the CMP. So neutral to marginally negative in short term. Union Bank of India, the company has raised rupees 3,000 crores at an issue price of rupees 135.65 per share. Morgan Stanley Society General HDFC Life BNP Paribas SBI Life and Sundaram MF are the uh, investors so positive for Union Bank in short term MCX the company has signed an MOU with Jakarta Futures Exchange for knowledge sharing and regional development so positive for MCX in long term Wipro the company has announced the joint uh, announced a joint private wireless solution with Nokia to help enterprises scale their digital transformation so positive for Wipro in long term Andhra Cements the promoter Saga Cements has proposed to sell up to a 5% stake in the company via OFS on Feb 27 so Andhra Cements will be in focus Tanla Platforms the company has launched its new product trublock.ai which leverages generative ai to elevate the trusted trublock experience and the company aims to make digital commerce easier for indian smbs with whatsapp based solution so positive for tanla in long term Jindal Steel and Power the company has announced the deployment of 10 electric buses and 27 electric SUVs at its Angul unit in Odisha India so positive for Jindal Steel and Power in medium to long term Lemon Tree Hotels the company has announced the signing of two new properties Sankwas Ghar a lemon tree resort and Keys Light by Lemon Tree Hotels Vijayawada so positive for lemon trees in medium to long term Power Mac Projects the company has received an order worth rupees 396.3 crores from Southeast Central Railway for execution of civil construction electrical works so positive for Power Mac Projects in short to medium term TVS Motor 
the company Singapore Arm will raise its stake in Germany-based Kilowatt GmbH to 49% from 39.28%. The company acquired 8,000 shares of Kilowatt GmbH at Euro 500 per share, so positive for TVS Motors in uh, medium to long term. Hind Rectifiers, the company has received an order worth rupees 200 crores from Indian Railways, so positive for Hind Rectifiers in short to medium term. Sigachi Industries, the company and UAE-based Imas Investment have formed a JV, Sigachi Global, to enter the growing UAE food and pharma market, so positive for Sigachi in medium to long term. Coming on to IPO offerings, so first is Platinum Industries, where the company will offer its shares for bidding on Tuesday. Uh, the price band is set from 162 to 171 per share and it's a two th 235 crores IPO, uh, completely fresh issue and it has already raised 70.5 crores from anchor investors. Second we have is Exicom Telesystems, the company will offer a share on bidding on Tuesday which is today and the price band is set from 135 to 142 per share. So it is a 429 crore IPO which is a combination of fresh issue of 329 crores and OFS of 100 crores. Coming on to bulk deals, uh, so the first one is Easy Trip Planners, uh, Minerva Ventures Fund, they have bought 90 lakh shares at Rs 48.75 per share. Uh, next we have Insider Trade, so under Insider Trade we have uh, Maharashtra Seamless, where the promoter Sudha Apparels have bought 25,000 shares on Feb 23. Second is Som Distilleries and Breweries, so the promoter Jagdish Kumar Arora bought 10,000 shares on Feb 26. And uh, third one is the Advanced Enzyme Technologies. Uh, where the promoter advanced vital enzymes sold 5,688 shares on Feb 21st. Coming on to pledge share details, uh, so first we have Aurobindo Pharma, where the promoter RPR Sons Advisors P. Sunila Rani revoked a pledge of 1.23 crore shares on Feb 23. Yeah friends, so that was all um, from the daily morning podcast. Thank you for listening. Investment in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.